welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm here to talk to you about Disney. This is was this was one of the top stocks uh, to buy actually for 2019. I caught a lot of really good calls in this. Some of the biggest trade calls of the entire year 2019. And let's just go back and review really the move that the stock had. So let's find the first day of the year. So here we are. One, three. So we opened the year in Disney at 108.48 and we're closing the year. Well, tomorrow is the 31st, today's the 30th. So we're closing here the day before the last day of the year at 143.90. So a really big move for this stock. And at one point it did hit the dream target, which was 150. And in fact, it went over it. The high of the stock on the year was 153.41. <clears throat> so looking at that, this stock has had a huge move, and really it happened here in April. So I did call these. I actually called this before before the earnings. This was a huge trade. I called calls in this before the earnings, ran up on the earnings, ran straight up like a rocket here. Dropped, fell off, rallied again, made brand new all-time highs here, which hit over 147. That was in July. And then this huge, massive breakout here that happened was another huge call that I made. And this was really on the 13th, but I called it on the 8th. I called the calls. And uh, another huge trade here for people that were on the Gap Options newsletter as subscribers. And, and we did day trades in here. I mean, there was just lots and lots of trades this year in Disney. So, I mean, overall looking at this, Disney really was one of the stocks that was really the most, had, had the most one of the most bullish moves this year that I've seen. There's a, there's a couple I'm going to go over in the next week, but this is definitely, definitely one of the top contenders and might be might be the top contender. I'm going to look at a, at a couple other ones as well, but just some huge calls that I've made in Disney this year, and we'll see what happens in 2020 for Disney. I mean, the stock is strong. I know it fell today. You can see how it fell today. The market fell today, too. A lot of things fell today. But this did not break the trend in Disney. I would definitely, definitely not be short this, even though this gapped down, technically speaking, today and fell. I would not have done anything with this to the downside, and I obviously wouldn't take a new position long here. But uh, Disney is strong, and it'll be really interesting to see what kind of move this stock can make in 2020. So Disney was a huge mover in 2019, and a lot of wonderful trades in this by me. Um, trade calls for the newsletter, for the trade room, great calls in this, and I'm talking about huge, huge calls, like over 400% return investment in the in the trade calls I made in this. So we'll see where Disney goes in 2020, and uh, and congratulations to everybody that got these moves that I that were on the newsletter that got the trades I called in this this year. If you'd like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks everyone. Have a happy new year.